Hello and welcome. I'm Matt Christopher and welcome to my channel. I just wanted to say first of all thank you very much to all of you over this very difficult time of illness in my family have been so supportive. I want to say thank you very much and I also wish to say thank you to my friends in Germany. I'd like to say Danke. Thank you very much Danke schön for your love and support uh, because a wonderful uh, privilege was bestowed upon me and that is that one of my friends uh, translated one of these um, humble videos of mine into German and thousands of people have responded uh, to uh, to my video so danke uh, to all of my friends in Deutschland uh, also, uh, I hit a milestone with uh, with my uh, YouTube channel. We have well over 40 odd thousand people who have participated by either commenting or um, watching and liking and, and also subscribing to my humble channel. So thank you very much. It's a very um, humbling experience. Now, today... Uh, at this moment, the war in Ukraine is raging and uh, we have friends of ours that are in the Ukraine and our, heart, our hearts go out to them and our prayers go out to them because this is an absolutely catastrophic uh, situation and uh, we certainly uh, want the killing and uh, the war to stop there so that all people no matter what side that they are on, that no harm uh, is uh, or continues to, to be done. Now, whether that is possible, I, I don't know, but certainly that is the, the sentiment. Now, this video today, which I have um, over the last couple of days put together, uh, I hope is um, a benefit to all of you. And that is this, that Jehovah's Witnesses, and especially through their propaganda arm, through their writing committees, um, look at world tragedies and spin them in a way that elicits uh, fear uh, and a response that people that have had any uh, contact with Jehovah's Witnesses would be coerced um, or motivated to return to the flock because, of course, um, any catastrophic events are, in fact, apparently in line with Bible prophecy and, of course, uh, death and uh, destruction is awaiting all those who do not accept the leading of the cabal of men in New York. Now, a friend of mine today, who's not a Jehovah's Witness, uh, John, actually rang me and said, you're not going to believe this. I received a letter, and we know that Jehovah's Witnesses uh, do their letter writing campaign, and uh, hopefully John will see this and put a smile on his face, there was the message that uh, what's happening in the world today in terms of even the war in Ukraine is proof that um, we are at the end of days. And he was invited um, to join Jehovah's Witnesses um, online to be able to be, or to be in line for salvation. The point I'd like to make is in no way to diminish the horrors of what is happening in the Ukraine. But some time ago, about two years ago, um, I discussed the effects of the um, COVID uh, pandemic. And Jehovah's Witnesses were pointing that this was in fact proof undeniable that these were the, um, the afflictions that were going to come upon the earth. And I said, while horrific as it is, it is only reasonable, um, as what happened in 1918, that this terrible time will pass and uh, humanity will go on in reality better and bigger and stronger than what it was uh, before. And that's where we are at the moment in terms of covid Little footnote here in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia, we have had one of the greatest floods. It's still happening right now in Australia, where many people have lost their lives and thousands upon thousands of people have lost their homes. It happened 11 years ago, in, and it also happened uh, in uh, 19, 
75 and previous to that, um, 100 years previous, uh, about that 100 years previous, there was also similar floods. And unfortunately, uh, my city of Brisbane, Queensland, Australia, unfortunately or fortunately is built on the banks of the Brisbane River. So unfortunately it will, I'm not sure when, but it will flood again. And it's uh, terrifying, it's terrible, it's distressing, but um, we are robust enough to go on with, um, with life. Now, what I wanted to do is, especially for those who have reached out, not just to me, but to other uh, whistleblowers and activists, and asked a very plain and simple question, um, should I return to Jehovah's Witnesses because of what I'm seeing in Ukraine? and what they're reading in the publications of Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, the title of this video is actually The Governing Body and Its Dark Arts of Propaganda. One of the first things that we see in any war is the misinformation. We're seeing it today in Ukraine. You see, if you can hold the narrative, you will be able to sway some people to act in a way that doesn't serve them, but serves those that have ulterior motives. And Jehovah's Witnesses are no different. I think about this. When a million, approximately a million people in Africa, in Rwanda, were hacked to death, did Jehovah's Witnesses think that that was the end of the world? Well, the answer is no. When the events of September 11 came about, did they think that was the end of the world? And the answer is yes. You see, what is important in the propaganda tool of Jehovah's Witnesses is that it is those that they wish to, to target. They need all elements of this society, especially the media, to frighten people to death. You see, when tragedies happen in the third world, unfortunately, the mainstream media doesn't cover it as much and doesn't uh, push the agenda that we as a society are coming to the end. Unfortunately, the constant tragedies that happen in the developing world don't seem to be as horrific as if it happens in Europe, the United States, Canada, the UK or Australia. We see here that Jehovah's Witnesses have applied their trade, which is one to exacerbate real problems, but to bring them back to their focus that they are the only true sanctuary for disasters. When things are going good, it is not the thing that they want to see. They wish to see and to exacerbate the many disasters that we see. Now, what I want to do is I want to get you to think about this because I think what I have uh, discovered in my research is very beneficial. I have this book with me and many people, uh, many people that became Jehovah's Witnesses many years ago will be aware of this book. It is called The Truth That Leads to Eternal Life. It's this, this blue book here. And it was first printed in 1968. Now, remember that in 1968, they were looking towards 1975 as the end. And I want to show you the propaganda at work. Now, what is very special about this book, which is aptly titled The Truth That Leads to Eternal Life. Okay, so this book contains the truth that leads you to eternal life. In this book, it has a diagram, it is on page uh, 95, and I don't know whether you can see it or not, it's just here, and it has these arrows going over here, and it says the last days, and it has within one generation, on this side here, it is 1914, and on the other, it is the end of the wicked system. Now, we know that this book here in 19, 1968 was focused on 
1975. Now, Jehovah's Witnesses are doing exactly the same thing today with the issue, especially with Ukraine and also with COVID. But I want to show you their deception in black and white. Now, there was two editions. So I'm going to jump. This is the original edition, which is 1968. And there was a second edition in 1981. As you guessed, 1981 was after the 1975 false prophecy and debacle. But I want to show you something. I want to show you how they work. Now, on pages, uh, on the, the, the page here, and I'll just show you, this is really important. So just while I find this, I want to uh, suggest to you that if you get the opportunity to get any of the hard copies of Jehovah's Witnesses books, this is vitally important in being able to show people the dark arts of propaganda by means uh, of uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. So here um, it says, and I will read uh, from verses 9 of, uh, on, where are we? On page, uh, page 9. And it says here, I'll just, just read here, I'll put it down. Verse 9, <clears throat> at the top, I should say, just in verse 8. This is once again the misappropriation of Scripture. Matthew chapter 24, verses 3 to 12, the old chestnut that Jehovah's Witnesses use, the propaganda of, of what is meant to be the last days. And here it starts off on the top of the page, and he, that is Jesus, said that the last days of this wicked system will be marked by such things as world wars, food shortages, increase of lawlessness, and the growing loss of faith in God. Now, in verse 9, this is, to, <laughs> this is the point. You've got this interpretation of Scripture, okay, and then what happens, the same as what's going on today with the war in Ukraine or the issue with COVID is they try to not only co-opt scripture as we've spoken about before for those that have a Christian sensitivity, but also to, to co-opt people who never, ever, ever in their wildest dreams would ever associate themselves with Jehovah's Witnesses, but they're going to try to do that. Now, verse 9. And this is where the propaganda starts. This is a masterclass. Verse 9. Under the subheading, Grand Blessings from God Near at Hand. 1968, remember. Many, many men who study world events are convinced that a great change is definitely in the making. Famous writer Walter Lippmann said, For... Uh, for us all, the world is disorderly and dangerous, ungoverned and apparently ungovernable. Everywhere there is great anxiety and bewilderment. 1968. He adds that all this marks, I believe, the historic fact that we are living through the closing chapter of the established and traditional way of life. My goodness me. And that is from Newsweek of October the 9th of 1967, pages 21. Okay, proof undeniable here. Now get ready for this. This is where things get extremely interesting, and I will show you the lengths of their dark arts of propaganda. Also, as reported back in 1960, a former United States Secretary of State Dean Acheson declared that our time is a period of unequaled instability, unequaled violence. And he warned, get ready for this, 
I know enough of what is going on to assure you that in 15 years from today, 1968, in 15 years from today, this world is going to be too dangerous to live in. And that was taken from US News and World Reports, June the 13th, 1960, pages 116 and 119. So here we have the former United States Secretary of State declaring that I know, I know enough for what is going on to assure you that in 15 years from today, this world is going to be too dangerous to live in. Now, I want you to think about that. That is in this book here, The Truth That Leads to Eternal Life. Okay, so you start off with a misappropriation of the scripture. If you're Christian, you're oriented that way is they're trying to say that this statesman, this former politician, is telling you that in 15 years' time, we won't be able to live on the planet. That's how bad it is. Okay. So the impact is this. Anyway, this is the point. From 1968 onwards, the hysteria about 19. 75. Now, um, I have my own experiences of, of, of that time as a child and also the lived experience of other people that I know around, around that time and the Watchtower turned its adherents and acolytes inside out to prove that they were um, acceptable to their God Jehovah to be saved at the great day of Armageddon that they weren't slaughtered. Of course. Now, 1975 came and went. Now, as I said, this book was reprinted in 1981. So a number of years after when the end of the world was meant to be. Now, what does Jehovah what do Jehovah's Witnesses do? What is the, the dark arts of propaganda? What what are they going to deliver for us? Well I'm going to share with you. If we go and I'll just um go over to the 1981 version, same uh same paragraph and I'll just read again. Um uh, verse nine in 1968, it says, many men who study world events are convinced that a great change is definitely in the making. In 1981, many men who study world events are convinced that a great change is definitely in the ma making. They quote Walter Lippmann again. Then when we come down to the middle of the paragraph, which is also as reported back in 1960, same as what is said in 1968. Now it is in 1981 edition. But listen to this. A former United States Secretary of State, Dean Atchison, declared that our time is a period of unequal instability, unequaled violence based on what he knew was going on in the world, it was his conclusion that soon, soon the world is going to be too dangerous to live in. And then it quotes down the, the bottom of the page, the same as what we read before, um, US News and World Reports of June the 13th, 1960, pages 116 and 119. What did the original version in 1968 say he warned I know enough of what is going on to assure you that in 15 years from today this world is going to be too dangerous to live in and in 1981 they verbal him 
and say, based on what he knew was then going on in the world, it was his conclusion that soon, soon, the world is going to be too dangerous to live in. You see, in 1968, his unfortunate words of in 15 years from today, this world is going to be too dangerous to live in, fitted perfectly with the Jehovah's Witness propaganda. The same as 9-11 fitted in with Watchtower propaganda. The same as the COVID pandemic fitted in with Jehovah's Witness propaganda. And today, as the Russian-Ukrainian war rages at this very moment, it suits Jehovah's Witnesses. Okay. In 1981, after the 1975 um, black hand of false prophecy showed itself, they didn't have the audacity, they didn't have the conscience, I should say, to admit that their audacity to misquote or to use unfortunate term, uh, uh, turn of phrase by Dean Acheson, the former uh, United States Secretary of State to admit that they were wrong. No, they verbal him by saying, this is in the 1981 edition, based on what he knew was then going on in the world, it was his conclusion that soon this world is going to be too dangerous to live in. Okay. So it was, it was the former United States Secretary, uh, you know, Secretary of State. It was his understanding of the world at the time. No, in this book, the truth that leads to eternal life, his words were used as proof that you needed to listen to the cabal of men in New York because they, as well as other astute, as it said, many men who study world events are convinced that a great change is definitely in the making. And of course, they uh, quoted uh, Walter Lippmann as well. Now, for Walter Lippmann and for the former United States Secretary of State, um, they were wrong. We're in 2022. Now, as I said, I hope that that is of benefit to you. That's just from one book. I hope that um, this has been um, thought-provoking for you and that um, it is something that we can use to show that Jehovah's Witnesses simply just use the horrific circumstances of present events to simply hoodwink people into believing that they have the answers to complex problems. They speak in God's behalf and they are the only ones that will be saved in their Armageddon fantasy. I'm Matt Christopher. Thank you very much for supporting me. As I said, thank you very much. It means a lot to me. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.